What if you were told that a silent killer exists in our midst, hiding in plain sight, posing a grave risk to human life and the environment? Welcome to the world of unguarded, open-cast minds, a largely unspoken problem that lurks beneath our feet. These are vast, man-made cavities left behind after the extraction of valuable minerals from the earth abandoned and forgotten, yet capable of wreaking havoc in the blink of an eye. Perhaps you're wondering what makes these seemingly empty pits so dangerous. The answer lies in the very nature of their abandonment. When a mine is decommissioned without proper safeguards, it becomes a breeding ground for peril. The stability of these mines can be compromised due to illegal extraction activities. Unregulated and unchecked, these actions can lead to catastrophic collapses, endangering lives and causing significant environmental damage. From the release of harmful gases like methane to the contamination of groundwater, the dangers are not only immediate but also long-lasting. Moreover, the collapse of these mines can lead to sinkholes causing extensive damage to surrounding areas and communities. Unguarded open-cast mines are not just abandoned holes in the earth, they are ticking time bombs waiting to unleash disaster. The clock is ticking and the need for action is urgent. But rest assured, there are solutions and we'll delve into them in the coming scenes. Scene script. Imagine a typical day in a small town, disrupted by a sudden ground-shaking collapse. In our story, we're taking you to a modest community nestled in the heart of an old mining region. It was a day like any other, with people busily going about their daily routines, oblivious to the looming danger. In the outskirts of the town, an unguarded open-cast mine had become a hotspot for illegal extraction activities. The mine, once a source of livelihood for many, had long been abandoned, left to the mercy of nature and the greed of opportunists. One day, the earth shuddered and the old mine collapsed. The ground shook with such force that it felt as though the very heart of the town had stopped. Homes closest to the mine were swallowed by the earth, their inhabitants barely having a chance to escape. The collapse sent a cloud of dust and debris into the air, blanketing the town in an eerie, ghostly pallor. The aftermath was nothing short of a disaster. Lives were lost, families were torn apart, the environmental consequences were devastating. The collapse opened up a pathway for toxins to seep into the groundwater, contaminating the town's primary water source. The surrounding soil was spoiled, rendering the once fertile land barren. The collapse also released harmful gases trapped in the mine, contributing to air pollution and exacerbating the global climate crisis. As the dust settled, the town was left to grapple with the enormity of the disaster. The loss, the damage, the grief, it was a heavy burden for a small community to bear. But perhaps the most tragic part of this disaster was that it was entirely preventable. Had the mine been properly decommissioned and guarded, the town would have been spared from such a catastrophe. The case of this small town is not an isolated incident. Around the world, many communities live in the shadow of abandoned, open-cast mines, unaware of the danger that lies beneath. These unguarded mines are ticking time bombs and without proper measures, they will continue to pose a threat to both human lives and our environment. In the blink of an eye, lives were lost, homes were destroyed, and the environment was irreparably damaged, all because of an unguarded open-cast mine. We have the power to prevent such disasters, but how? Let's start with the immediate solution. Proper decommissioning of mines. Decommissioning is not just about ceasing operations. It involves a comprehensive plan to ensure that the site is safe and poses no risk to the environment or the community. This includes sealing off entry points, stabilizing the ground, and removing any potential hazards. But decommissioning is not a task for the mine owners alone. Governments, private organizations, and communities all have a role to play. Governments need to set and enforce stricter regulations for mine decommissioning. Private organizations can contribute by providing technical expertise and resources, and communities can help by keeping a watchful eye and reporting any suspicious activities. But what about the abandoned mines that are already posing a threat? Innovative solutions are emerging. Take the example of Sustainable Energy Solutions, a Swedish tech company that has developed a technology to convert water in abandoned mines into energy storage. Not only does this solution make use of renewable energy, but it also provides a new income stream for mine owners and creates job opportunities for former mine workers. However, these solutions cannot be effective without tackling the issue of illegal extraction activities. 
Strict enforcement of mining laws is crucial. Penalties for illegal mining need to be severe enough to act as a deterrent. At the same time, governments should also provide alternative livelihood options for those who resort to illegal mining out of desperation. And finally, we need to raise awareness. Many people are not aware of the dangers posed by unguarded open cast mines. Through public education campaigns, we can inform communities about the risks and encourage them to report any illegal activities. Support efforts to address the problem of unguarded mines. Together, we can safeguard our communities and our environment from the hidden dangers of abandoned open cast mines.